Hi parents, thank you for checking in. I'm Elaine from Great Solutions, Jimmy Math. In this video, I will be explaining PSLE questions on percentage discount. One of the main problems students face with percentage discount questions is that they do not know which value to use as 100%. They are also often intimidated when the percentages go beyond 100%. Percentage discount questions also come in a wide variety, so sometimes students get confused because they do not know which method to use as that question might look unfamiliar to them. For this tutorial, I will be using two questions from past year prelim papers to guide you on how you can explain percentage discount questions to students in a very simple and systematic manner. The first question is taken from ACS and it is worth 2 marks. At a sale, a shop was offering a 20% discount for a pair of shoes. Customers can purchase a second pair of shoes at a 50% discount. Scott paid $156 for two identical pairs of shoes. How much did each pair of shoes cost before the discount? The key concept for this question is that the original price for two pairs of shoes is 200%. Since the original price of one pair of shoes should be 100%, the original price of two such pairs would be 200%. Now, a lot of students feel confused when they see percentages over 100% because to them, one whole, which is 100%, should be the maximum amount. So to explain this concept to students, we can just draw a very simple model to show them that there can always be more than one hole. The original price of the first pair of shoes should be one hole. And one hole is 100%. Similarly, the original price for the second pair of shoes should also be one hole. And of course, one hole equals to 100%. So we can see clearly that the original price for two such pair of shoes would be 200%. When moving on to our working, we should split the cost into the first pair, the second pair, and of course, the total. The first pair of shoes is entitled to a 20% discount. So this is the original price, and there's a 20% discount, which will give us an 80% discounted price. As for the second pair, it is entitled to a 50% discount, which gives us 50% of the discounted price. All right, so discounted price means selling price or the price that you pay to get the shoes. And as explained, the original price for two pairs of shoes is 200%. So since Scott paid 80% for the first pair and 50% for the second pair, the total percentage that he paid is 80 plus 50, which gives us 130% of the total. Since he spent $156, that would mean that 130% is $156. Going back to the question, it is asking us for the price of one pair of shoes before the discount. So one pair of shoes would simply be 100%. So let's go ahead and solve this question. 156 
divide by 130 times 100 and that would give us $120 and that is our answer to this question. The next question is taken from Taunan School and it is worth 3 marks. The usual price for two identical laptops was $1,500 in store A and $1,250 in store B. During a sale, both stores offered the same percentage discount for the laptops. The discounted price for the laptop in store B is $200 cheaper than the discounted price for the laptop in store A. What is the percentage discount given? The key concept of this question is finding the price difference in just 1% of the original price. Now, since we already know the original price of the laptops in both stores, okay, we can work out the price difference in 1% of the original price. Once we know the price difference in just 1%, we can work our way to find out at which percentage okay, would the difference be $200. Okay, to start, we simply split our working into store A and store B. In store A, the original price is $1,500. So original price is always 100%. So 100% 100 is $1,500. And let's do the same for store B. The original price is $1,250. And now we go ahead to find out what is 1% of the original price. So $1,500 divide by 100 and that would give us $15. And let's do the same for store B. $1,250 divide by 100 and that would give us $12.50. So if we are paying just 1% of the original price, the price difference would be $2.50. Now going back to the question, we are looking for a price difference of $200. When we are paying 1% of the original price, there is a price difference of $2.50. So at which percentage would we obtain a price difference of $200? Okay, we would take 200, divide by $2.50, and that would give us 80. That means that when we are paying 80% of the original price, we will get a price difference of $200. And that is precisely what we are looking for. Okay, since the question is asking us for percentage discount, we take 100% minus 80% and that would give us 20%. And that's our answer to this question. Before we end this video, it is important to note the difference between percentage discount and discounted price. Percentage discount is the discount you receive from the sale. Okay, that is 20%. Discounted price is the percentage of the original price that you are paying. All right, or the selling price. So the discounted price of the laptop is 80%, whereas the percentage discount is 20%. So we have to make sure that students do not get confused between these two terms. I hope this tutorial was easy to follow and helpful in showing you how we can organize our working 
and solve problems systematically. If you have any questions for me or have any suggestions as to what topics you'd like to see me explain in upcoming videos, please leave a comment in the comment box below and also subscribe to this channel for more free tutorials.